This reel was released in Europe the beginning of August. Four non-political items have been cut. Neither Russia nor Italy are included in the issue. The commentator introduces Admirals Jardel and Estefa at the French naval exhibit in Paris. Esteva is the bearded gentleman in civilian dress. Both Esteva and Jardel, men close to Pétain, less collaborationist than Laval de Atnerclic, had been reported missing. Their appearance in this subject, of course, confirms their well-being and implies approval of the Nazi propagandists. The introduction of a French naval subject is noteworthy, for since the scuttling of the French fleet at Toulon, in November 1942, the Navy has had a very bad name with the Germans. The Navy has been inactive, not having sufficient personnel with which to operate. The commentator tells us that Hungary's regent, Admiral Horty, recently celebrated his 76th birthday in perfect health. In honor of the occasion, he observes military maneuvers. Seated in the foreground is Chote, Horte's Minister for War. This event took place on June 18th and matches the press release stating that Horte inspected new weapons outside of Budapest. Actually, the naval warfare has been employed by the Nazi satellites on the Eastern Front for some time, and this tank of rivet construction is obsolete. The heavy coats worn by Horte and the party are incongruous with the date. It's probable, therefore, that the scenes of Horty were taken in March, at which time he also observed military maneuvers. A German back the attack show in the Hofburg in Vienna, which we are told by the commentator, was of lively interest to the public and is visited by a Japanese military delegation. This subject serves as a welcome excuse for bringing the Japanese into the real. The Japanese are familiar with rocket guns, but as yet have not been reported to have used them. The military heads of neutral countries, the commentator remarks, are shown the power and the goodwill of the German army. By showing the various representatives here, Temp is made to stress Europe's military solidarity rallied about the Axis. The exhibit spotlights the Grenadiers with particular emphasis on the Großdeutschland SS division. The placard tells us that the infantry is the queen of the battle. No direct explanation is given for this invasion front sequence, but presumably these men are being decorated for their part in the action spoken of by the commentator. He states, after several weeks of battle, and despite great concentration of equipment and troops, the Anglo-Americans have been unable to take the objectives they had set for the first few days of combat. Small naval units battling the invasion forces are inflicting heavy losses on them. Over this coastal action, the commentator explains, the enemy is constantly trying to compensate for its losses on the Bay of the Seine and the River Orne, but coastal artillery batters the naval transports.
no bunker de uma bateria costeira. Despojos da guerra na praia. The strongest admission of Allied air superiority yet carried in these newsreels is given in the comment, strong enemy bomber formations attack almost without interruption to impede the intervention of German divisions. Again, the civilian population is played up in mournful tones. The commentator says, thousands of frightened French citizens abandon the shambles to which their villages and cities have been reduced by the horrible Anglo-American air attacks. Hundreds of men, women, and children live in caves in utter misery. The theme of devastation and desolation inflicted on civilians, supposedly by Allied bombings alone, has been trumpeted abroad again and again in every possible propaganda medium in order to turn public opinion against the Allies. Centenas de homens, mulheres, anunciamos e crianças vivem em cavas em circunstâncias lamentáveis. Nevertheless, boasts the commentator, the enemy, as he advanced, was unable to cause any significant damage to the German Atlantic fortifications. The oblique implication is that the impregnable Nazi fortifications further inland will finally cause the Allies to succumb. The combat sequence in this reel is evasive and inconclusive, and no individual skirmish is enacted or identified, as has been customary in these reels. Os leves da DCA intervêm nas lutas terrestres. Foi aqui que fracassou o ataque inimigo. de carga que foi incendiado. Commentator says, many of the men in this long line of prisoners on their way to prison camps are happy to have escaped death. Again, the SS troops are emphasized. In order to swell the ranks of the SS, members have been recruited in large numbers directly from the Hitler Youth Organization. The so-called Baby Division, which has been active about Caen, is composed almost entirely of these recruits. The division has distinguished itself in this area, in Nazi eyes, by its fanatical fighting. Granadeiros levando a cabo um ataque de flanco, apoiado por artilharia motorizada a despeito do fogo inimigo. The commentary explains that grenadiers, with the help of motorized artillery, make a successful flank attack in the face of enemy fire and prevent the breakthrough of North American heavy tanks. He adds, anti-aircraft guns are used as ground artillery. This rocket barrage shows for the first time the original packing cases of the rockets in use as the launching device. A 
spectacular finish compensating for the weakness of the subject, ends the reel as the commentator declares, the fight for Europe continues.